All right, you guys, so today I'm gonna to do some really fun designs with some of the new products that we've got. Today we're gonna to be working with our art pens and also some of our new jelly manicure colors. Okay, so let's get started. So I've got my two full coverage nails prepped and ready to go. I've just removed the shine from them. I'm gonna start with our long nail and we'll just do that one first all the way through so that you can kind of see how the procedure goes and then I'll do the shorter nail and kind of adapt a little bit to that. So I'm gonna start with our um, Go Time Black and this is called Look Don't Touch. And again, you can use either the Go Time, if you like the Go Time, you can work with the Manicure Color, personal preference, whichever one you wanna use. So I'm gonna start with two coats of my color and as long as we're doing that, we'll go ahead and do our two coats on both of them, just to get started. And then I'll just do the design individually. So on one, I'm gonna do a black. On the other, I'm gonna start with the white. I'm gonna set this into place. And you can do a quick 30 second freeze if you're working on a full set or on an actual client. Go ahead and work on one hand while the other hand is in the light and just alternate back and forth. So our first coat is cured. I'm gonna go ahead and do a second coat, just so we've got good even coverage. Now with this, this, with this design, you don't necessarily have to do two coats because we're gonna do kind of a full coverage design, but I like just the kind of the security knowing that I've got a really good, even consistent color as my base layer. This one, again, I'm gonna cure for another 30 seconds and then we'll move on to our design. So our second coat is cured. Now at this point, you can kind of determine how you want to work. If you want to work in that um, shiny surface of the nail, you can work on the shiny surface. I actually personally like to work with a matte surface. So I'm going to do a coat of our Manicure Matte Top Coat. I just feel like this gives me kind of a, just a better feel to when I'm applying my, my design. But again, you can work over that shiny surface. It is totally up to you. So I'm gonna just apply my matte top coat. This one we're gonna do a full cure of 60 seconds because then I'm gonna wipe the tacky surface and we're gonna work on that matte surface. So again, a full cure of 60 seconds. I'm gonna use a little bit of our Mini Q Cleanse just to wipe off that extra tacky surface. So now I've got a nice kind of a matte finish to work over. Let that dry. And again, then you can see we've got that nice matte surface to work on. All right, so I'm gonna be using the white from our new YN Art Pens, and these are an acrylic paint. I'm gonna give that a nice quick shake. If you haven't been using your pens for a while, give them just a little bit of a shake, make sure that paint is kind of mixed up in there really well. So when I open my paint, I wanna make sure if I've already used it, it should be primed and ready to go. But if you need to, you can press down and little bit, let a little bit more of that paint flow down into the pen just make sure that you've got a little bit of that paint on it, okay? This is where it gets fun because again, you guys, you probably know from by now that I'm not a real lines and you know intricate design. So this design I actually really like because it's just kind of doing a little bit of scribbling, okay? That's really all you gotta do. It's not anything fancy at this point, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my swipe. So you're gonna pump just a little bit of that swipe up into the top cup there and using whatever kind of art brush you want to use. Um, I'm just using just a small striper brush or just a kind of a liner brush. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of that swipe. I don't want to take too much, so I'm just gonna kind of dab out a little bit of the extra. I don't want that swipe to really flood onto the nail, but I want to use that to just kind of soften up that white and just kind of, kind of spread it a little bit and just kind of make it kind of milky, kind of smoky looking. And it's okay if you see kind of some straight lines, some really more bold lines, and then some other more of that kind of smoky look. Again, I'll pick up a little bit more of my swipe. And that swipe is just gonna kind of help to bleed out that white from the paint. Now, if I feel like I want a little bit more black showing underneath, I'll just kind of clean out some of that space in between. And again, just kind of make it a little bit more smoky. Now I know it looks kind of just like a mess right now, but we're gonna add some more color to this. And this is where we're gonna start to do kind of some layers and we're gonna get more of our design here. 
Okay. Now I'm going to make sure that this is nice and dry. So when the paints are dry, you're going to notice that they're going to look more matte rather than kind of that shiny. There's a couple of spots. I'm not sure if you can see on camera, but a couple of spots right in here that it still looks a little bit shiny and wet. When it's still shiny and wet like that, you wanna give it just a little bit more time. So again, if you're working on maybe a full set, go on to your next nail, let this one set up, and then you can come back, okay? But what we're gonna do, I'm gonna be using two of our new jelly manicures. Um, we're gonna be using Frog Opera and whatever you like. And again, it doesn't have to be any real precision to it. I'm just gonna kind of add some color wherever I want to. Let's take our second color, maybe kind of blend that through the middle. Now, again, you can kind of see that I am touching one color to the next. So if you do get a little bit of the other color on your brush, again, that's why I have my mixing tile here. So give that brush just a quick wipe. It'll pull out any of that color um, that may have gotten onto the brush. So I'm gonna come back with, now I'm just using the same striper brush, but it's dry at this point. I don't have any swipe on it. I'm just going to kind of blend those two colors together at the edges. That way it's going to kind of blend together. It's going to be a little bit more of a color fade rather than those stark kind of lines in between. I'm going to set that into place. And again, we're just going to cure that for a quick 30 seconds. Okay, so that's our first layer. Now, when you're looking at marble, okay, you're noticing that there's really a lot of dimension to it. So now that's what we're gonna create. We're gonna do layer on top of layer, and that's where you're gonna get that dimension and that kind of deep look. So it's gonna look like there's cracks running all the way through in different layers. So we're gonna go through, and again, I don't like to work in that tacky surface. If you want to, it's totally fine, you can, but I'm gonna just give that nail a quick little swipe with our manicure cleanse, just to pull off a little bit of that extra tacky surface. It's not going to change our design. We've already cured that into place, so it is totally fine to wipe off that tacky surface. Again, we're gonna come back in with our pen. Now, this on, this, on the first layer, I kinda went at an angle towards, from kinda left to right. Now, on this one, to create a little bit more texture, I'm gonna kinda go in the opposite direction. So I'm gonna put my little scribbles kind of in that opposite direction. Again, you guys, it's not anything precise. You don't have to make any perfect little shapes or anything like that because you're just going to blend it out. Okay, so again, just like before, I grabbed a little bit of my swipe and I'm just going to start bleeding that out a little bit. And I do like to kind of leave a little bit more, um, in some areas, a little bit more of a heavy line you can kind of see right through here. I like that deeper, a little bit more color. Some areas I'm gonna leave it where it's a little bit more smoky. Again, that's just gonna add different dimension. And you guys, if you get to a point where you're like, I blended it out too much, I'm just not liking how it is, grab a little bit of the swipe on your wipe and just wipe that off. Those, um, the paint pens are actually an acrylic paint, so they're not gel, it's not anything like that. So if you don't like your design, wipe it off and start fresh. That's why this is a nice design because it goes in layers. So when you have that first layer set, you can adjust your second layer and change that up if you're not liking it. Okay, now I'm gonna leave that. Again, I'm going to let that set until it's dry and it looks kind of that matte finish. And then we're gonna go back over again with our same colors. All right, we've got just one more little area here that's still looking a little shiny. So you guys, sometimes when you're using the swipe, it's actually the swipe that's still wet on the nail, it's not the paint. These paint pens actually dry really, really fast. So if you're doing other kind of designs, you're gonna notice that they do dry really fast. It's just that the swipe just hasn't quite evaporated yet. Okay, now I think our nail is nice and dry. So again, I'm gonna come back in with my green, kind of in that same area up top and then down below. And again, back to our pink. Again, this is called whatever you like. And again, I'm gonna kind of blend this together. Just kind of tapping where the colors meet up. All right, I think I'm liking that. Again, we're gonna go back into the light for another 30 second freeze. 
So at this point, we've got two layers on here. Now it's totally up to you if you like the design how it is and you wanna leave it like that, you can top coat it here. If you wanna add another coat, you can definitely do another coat. Totally up to you however you want. I'm feeling like I kinda of like it, but there's just a couple of spots. I don't know, I just wanna add just a little bit more. So again, I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of my Manicure Cleanse. And you guys, you can see it will take a little bit of that, um, kind of that tacky surface off and a little bit of that color, but it's not a big deal. You already have your color cured on there and it's totally fine. So I'm gonna add, I just want a little bit more, something right through here. Okay, so again, just a quick little addition. I don't feel like I need anything else up top. I kind of like how that, kind of that dimension is in there. So we'll just blend this out. And again, you guys, if you decide, well, maybe I really didn't like it, again, just wipe it off and you don't have to be stuck with that on your design. So yeah, you guys, just kind of eyeball it. See how you like. If you feel like you need to add more, just add a little bit more. Again, I'm just trying to create just a little bit more of a line. Okay, so at this point, I really do like how this is. I like how all of the different kind of veiny little parts of our marble, marble, marble are looking. Uh, so again, I'm gonna let that set. So at this point, again, I'm gonna make sure that's nice and dry, and then we'll go ahead and top coat. Now, if you find that maybe you thought it was dry, but maybe there was a spot that it wasn't dry it can kind of smear that paint a little bit but again that might just add to your design now if it does again you can wipe it off and start again um, and redo your design or redo your white on there I'm gonna quick top coat this so again I'm using the ultimate finish top coat this one is just a really nice quick and easy top coat because it's a one step it doesn't have to you don't have to wipe off a tacky surface of it once it's fully cured, it is set all the way through. So again, this one I am going to fully cure for a 60 second cure. So our first design is fully cured out. I'm gonna go into our second design. So again, you guys, it's gonna be the same process, just a little bit of different kind of coloring. Um, on this one, I'm actually gonna kind of blend some of the colors a little bit. So on this one, I'm gonna be using Sleep Under and Life Coach. So Life Coach is a really light kind of a pink. So I'm just gonna kind of, kind of pop that in there wherever I feel like it. And then with our Sleep Under, this is a little bit darker. Again, I am going to come in and just kind of blend those together. Again, it doesn't have to be a perfect blend together, but I just like to give it so that it's not quite such a solid line. Okay, so again, just starting out with kind of that background color, freeze that into place for a quick 30. Okay, so that is our base color. Again, I'm going to go through and just take off a little bit of that tacky surface, and then we'll go in with our white pen. So we're just gonna come in, again, just like we did before, applying our white and then using a little bit of the swipe to blend that out. Now, because we already have that white behind there, you're not gonna be able to see that white, um, the paint pen, as kind of as strong as we did see in that black design. But that's kind of how this design turns out. It's still gonna give you that dimension that you're looking for, but it's gonna be a little bit of a softer design. All right, we'll let that dry until it looks matte. Okay, so now at this point, on this first one, we did layers and layers of the green and the pink, but because I've got the dark under here, I don't actually want that dark coming up through the nails. I wanna keep it a little bit softer. So on this one, I'm just going to use um, Life Coach over the whole nail now. So that's gonna keep it a little bit lighter and a little bit softer. But now when I do that coat over, you're still gonna see a little bit more of those darker areas, but then you're also gonna really start to see those white lines kind of pop out a little bit more. So again, we'll do a quick 30 second freeze. Okay, so that first layer is cured. Again, I'm gonna wipe my tacky surface. And let's 
let's see, we're just gonna add a little bit more right through here and maybe a little bit more right through there. Again, you guys, if you like the design how it is, you don't have to add the extra layers. But to me, I, I like to do at least two layers just because I feel like that gives it more depth. Yes, okay, so I, I really like that. Now I'm gonna go into one of our more metallic paints, and this is our silver. Again, give it a quick shake before you use it. I'm gonna pop the top of that off. Now when you're using the metallics, I feel like they flow a little bit different than just the solid colors. Um, so kind of what I like to do is I will just kind of kind of almost twirl my, um, my paint pen and just take out a little bit of that extra paint so that I know that I'm going to be able to do a fairly thin line. So on this one, I'm just going to kind of very lightly just add a couple of accents here and there. Maybe we'll go right up here. And maybe just right down there. Okay, so just a little bit on there. And again, I'm going to just start to kind of bleed that out a little bit. Now, if you like more of a kind of a solid or kind of a glittery kind of a line, using our, um, our Mission Control gel paints, those are really pretty on here too, just kind of as an outline. But for doing kind of this bleed out, I really like the art pens. They work really, really well. I'm going to add just a little bit more, maybe right through here. And maybe down here. So sometimes you have to kind of move the product around a little bit to see how it's going to flow, see how it's going to blend out. And you might add a little bit more just after you see what it kind of comes out as. So again, don't be afraid to add more. down here okay so I think this is gonna be right where I want it now okay so I'm liking that again I'm gonna let that set up so again if you like to add more layers if you want more um, more depth to it go ahead and add more layers but again at this point I'm gonna let that dry and I am going to top coat again with our ultimate finish Okay, again, we're gonna do a final cure of 60 seconds. All right, you guys, so hopefully you enjoyed seeing these different designs. Again, you can do them on the longer nails, the shorter nails, natural nails, artificials. So it's a great design you can try on anything. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel now. Subscribe to the channel.